That's all right. Uh, never mind. Let's get on to a game now called Film Dubbing. Now, this is going to feature Paul and Tony. So, if you'd like to come where you can see this uh, monitor which has been wheeled into your view. And uh, this is a film from which the soundtrack has been removed. And you've got to add us a new soundtrack, please, to try and fit in as best you can with what you see in the situation of um, somebody taking a driving test. And the film will be starting, oh, I should think, in about four couple of seconds now, I'd say. Go. Left at the rock, left at the right. <laughs> 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 Well, listen, it's my first lesson. Don't confuse me now. Look, you see that dial there? When I tap my eyebrow, you have to make uh, an emergency stop. I'm going to tap my head on the console. What's that smell of fish? Is it Maria? Right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 All right, now we stop here. We're going to try the reverse turn, all right? Right, so, OK, yes, right, right, reverse turn. I'll turn no. left by the octopus. That's it. Right? Oh, God, have you farted? <laughs> What's the way she smell? No, I'm not going to so much. I had to put these sunglasses on. Well, I mean, well, that, well, that. Well, 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 just don't break wind again. Look, right, now, we're coming up, we're coming, we're coming up to the... Uh, no, the, don't the, talk to me like that. I'm it's nervous. Listen, look, look, look. Oh, where's your bloody sunglasses gone? I've lost them. I've lost them. They fell out of the window. Did you see that? They had a big wire on it. Don't shift the gears. I know what I'm doing. Fourth gear, fourth gear for... Fourth gear, fourth gear, fourth gear, fourth gear. Fourth gear, fourth gear. Oh, I thought you drive a car it's then. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, I'll park here. Right. Uh, right. Very good. All right. Yeah. Uh, now we play a game called Party Quirks. This features Paul Merton as the host of a party. The others are each of them going to be guests arriving at the party. And they look at the envelopes in front of them, or the envelope in front of each of them. There's a quirk. A style of behaviour, based on some suggestions provided by the studio audience before we started the recording. And uh, they've got to play their character in with those quirks, and Paul's got to guess them as he improvises his party. Guess what quirks they've been allocated. So, Paul, would you like to come forward? Start improvising the party. Starting with Archie, uh, coming in from the other side there, the sound of a doorbell. And um, I think Paul's got his party set up now, and away we go. Hello, Bert, how are you? Hey. Hey, guy. Hey, guy, how are you, huh? I'm all right, Bert, how are you? Ah, good to see you. Good to see you, Bert. Oh, good to see you. How old are you today? Come on, tell I'm, me. So, I'm 28. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey, hey, out there in first oh, row. Happy hey. birthday. Oh, Frank, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's not... So you're not quite that big. Not quite that I'll big. I'll be there someday. You will be, of course you uh, will. I think we'll have to give him that, I think, as a... A lounge singer, a friend. Oh, I'll go then. Yeah, that's no, very good. <laughs> <laughs> you can hey, that's I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make good television, will it? <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> oh, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always throw these really stupid pardons? <laughs> <laughs> I see you brought the dog with you. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't mean I'm a very good one. No, 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 you're a great Highland dancer, you are. <laughs> yes, OK, yes, a mad Highlander. <laughs> Ever since I was a little boy, I scare the dark. <laughs> Go into tunnels, I dig, I dig, I dig, I try to dig my way out of my bedroom. I dig my way into a motorbike. I dig my way into the petrol tank of the motorbike. I go flying over the border of Austria and Switzerland. I dig. I dig, I dig. Steve McQueen. I dig, I dig. Charles I... Bronson. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think that's. I think we are getting there. Yeah, character from the Great Escape. From yeah. the Great Escape. Yeah. Oh, yes. a yeah. character from the Great Escape. Yeah. Yeah. How did they come up with that? <laughs> well, uh, now we come to a game called Musical Producers. This is going to feature first of all Tony and Paul as the producers. So, if you'd like to get these stools, which we have here, apparently producers always sit on stools, while they discuss a new musical, which they'll describe. When we had a bit of description, over we'll go to Mike and Josie. If you'd like to get in a position. With the assistance of Richard Ranch, we'll sing a bit, speak a bit, sing a bit from that musical. Then we'll buzz back over to the producers for a bit more, and maybe a bit more after that for a bit of finale. But from the studio audience, if you follow any of that, can you give us a general topic for what the musical might be about? It'd be fairly what? Sorry. Hairdressing. 
Hairdressing. Hairdressing. All right, fair enough. No reason why it shouldn't be. probably be called hair. No, it wouldn't be called hair, would it? <laughs> or snips. So anyway, uh, start you off, please. No? Fringes. Ah, oh, it's just nostalgic for me, that. Uh, so, where we go? Um, <laughs> Paul and Tony. So, this new musical, Snips, I mean, basically I think it's about an intense rivalry mm. between two hairdressers in the same salon. Yes, but one of them has no control over her nervous reactions in her body, so it looks as if she's having a fit all the time. <laughs> That's the opening number. Yeah. <laughs> A little slow around the edge. She cuts like she's trimming a bramble burry head. And when I see him perm, it really makes me squirm. He's lousy. I hate the way he does her hair. I personally think that she just doesn't care. You have no fair. You're just a bitch. And you are just no, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a better idea. Yes, I'm not sure about just a smitch as a no. rhyme. <laughs> I don't think they're going to understand us in LA. No, or, or indeed anywhere in the world, yes. <laughs> because the word doesn't exist. What no. about if we set it in Barcelona? Barcelona, no, of, I like it, I like and it. And instead of the rivalry, they really want to get it off with one another. Yes, yes, lesbians in Spain. <laughs> the smitch that time yes. around. Let's put the smitch back in and yeah. set it in 1920s Berlin with lots of split crutch panties, <laughs> but their profession is that they have to knit pubic wigs. I like it! <laughs> oh, sorry, madame! A knit here, a pin that I jerk in, a tuck here. I'm attached one to your pearl, one knit, one pearl, one knit, one pearl, one knit, one pearl, so one much. Knit, one pearl, it's one knit, real one to pearl, the one touch. One pearl, one knit, one now go pearl, over one here for your final one treatment. One pearl, one knit, one. I like it. Pearl, it's you. It would look better in blue. Don't you think that's true? Pearl, one, 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 